Hey, welcome back to Mass Effect, kids. In this episode, we're fuck the yeah, fuck is it? Oh, dude, Matt. Oh, dude, Anderson's here. I mean, this is where I was supposed to go. I'm glad you came, sir. I heard what happened. You had to know what was going to happen. Why didn't you warn me? I tried. The ambassador wouldn't let me get a message through before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer. Or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Uh, I don't know. Is there a difference here? Let me have a look. Okay, apparently there's absolutely no difference between them, really. Um, I, I had to look it up because I, I didn't want him to die or something, you know? Uh, so yeah. It's your call, Captain. I'll break into the Ambassador's office. He made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here waiting for you. No, we actually have a lot of things to do. Because I haven't done anything here. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. By the way, we got Goodbye. Quasar. <laughs> Enjoy your time here at Flux. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. Get to the point. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. You can't stop her from making stupid mistakes. This stupid mistake might cost her her life. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Bouncer? Hey, good to see another human in here. Wow, that's like super racist. My kind of place. I'm waiting for someone else. Oh, let's take. Oh, dude, let's play some Quasar. Twenty credits to play. Get closest to twenty without going over. Okay. How do we win this? Uh, at four to seven. Uh, at four to seven. Uh, at one to eight. Fuck. If this was blackjack, I would have won. Yeah, we gotta win at this. 
It's actually one of the stupidest games I've ever seen. <laughs> Fuck you, you beeping machine piece of shit. Oh, okay, good. Definitely pay out. Yeah, no, this is actually boring. This is almost like that other place. Oh, there we go, another keeper. Wait, why did I see something to examine? This machine has been tampered with, and someone is funneling credits to a private account. I will attempt to trace the signal. Why is the music in these places always so loud? Okay, she's gonna attempt it. Come, coming from the ward's access oh, corridor. It almost seems as if the people here. So, how do I like? They want an excuse not to talk to each other. Ward's access corridor. Someone's someone's hacking the internet or some shit. Uh, I think I think I know where that is actually. I will attempt to try signal. Exactly. No blood for aliens. Is this the ward's access corridor? Are you the Reapers? Uh, I don't know where it is. Ward's access corridor. Oh, this guy looks suspicious. They told me it was you. But I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. An impatient soldier. Who are you and why are you in my way? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. So I ran with the Reds. That's behind me now. We're not trying to cause you trouble, Shepard. We just want a favor. For old time's sake. One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. What was this guy arrested for? Some stupid minor offense. Maybe he had a little red sand. You know how the Turians are. They declared him a problem, and they're shipping him back for a trial. You're not asking me to break Wiseman out of jail, are you? Of course not. But word has it you've got some pull with the aliens. All we're asking you to do is pull a little for us. What was one of the 10th Street Reds doing in Turian space? Since your days, the Reds have expanded. We do some salvage, a little shipping here and there, that kind of thing. I'll talk to the Turian and see what I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I knew you'd remember your old friends. The guard's over in Korra's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. Oh boy. Let's go check that out. We have plenty to do here, apparently. Alright. Who do we can we talk to? Alright, drinks. Thanks. Can't go behind there. We Asari are more accepting of our section. Go away. Let me let me drink it. I got business here, but not. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Tough girl. The fuck? I'm busy. The other waitresses can help you. Oh, really? Shit. Apparently I should have uh, done a better job with that. Uh, did, did I quick save it recently? Yeah, I did. Sorry, I, I, I think I think I fucked that up. She doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> I'm like, I, I was surprised how quickly she fucking just brushed me Hi, off. I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about. Right, I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. What's the same dialogue? Now you sound like my sis. I need to go. Love girl. Uh, okay. I'm surprised. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, yeah, I guess you're supposed to do that. It's the same dialogue, weirdly enough, for either one. Can I help you? You've got a prisoner named Kurt Wiseman. I'd like that prisoner freed. I'd like a lot of things human. 
Desire forms the foundations of organized society. That said, the xenophobe will remain in Turian custody. This is not negotiable. I'd rather not have to kill all your guards to free this man. Why do you want this criminal released? Is it part of your mission, or are you just helping another human? I'm a specter. I don't answer to you. Release Wiseman, now. The Council should have known the humans were not ready for the authority of the specters. The prisoner will be released. Turian people at least respect the rule of law. Nice. Who's dead? <laughs> that it? I just I just did like a bro thing for him and that's it. Uh old friends. Yeah, that's it. It's just done. Good thing going here. Too bad he got greedy. Nice. How far are we with this thing? Uh took a bit to go. The fuck? Why was Rex running in front? If you have questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Are you talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell was that about? I guess we'd better go find out. Uh, we gotta go talk to Morden. Talk to Chelik. Track the signal. Where's the ward's access quarter? Talk to Morland. Uh. Fuck. How do we, how do we, oh, I need to drag the map. I like how there's like this race against time shit. No, you can't drag the map at all. Ward's access corridor. We got like a shit ton of things to do right now. And absolutely no time to do it in. Oh, here he is. Hello there, welcome to Morland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Morland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. Or you'll have to deal with me. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Her secret stays buried. Or I bury you. Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Non-human armors. Ah, uh, well, there we go. We got a grenade upgrade. Some kind of geth up license. Uh, I don't think any of this is particularly good. Wow, it's all shit. Everything is garbage. And we're gonna have to find all the keepers too. A commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. <laughs> oh God. I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Conrad. I haven't been shot in the head nearly enough times to make that seem like a good idea. Joke if you want, but there were people who didn't believe in you. And you worked out, right? I read about what you did on Torfin. I'm not afraid to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Conrad, you have no idea what it takes to get the job done. What? No, please. Please don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? This is how a gun in your face feels. It happens to me every day. You can't handle this. I thought you were a hero. Heroes don't do things like this. I wish I'd never met you. Ah, oh, it's so great. 
All right, so a little bit of a funny fact. Uh, so in the next game, he re he'll be there and he'll remember me pointing. So okay, uh, there's basically three ways you do it. You tell him to go back with his family. He'll go back with his family if you do like the the paragon thing. If you do any of the op other options, he'll kind of just do it. He'll try and become like a hero or something, represent the humanity, be like a specter or whatever, try and join the crew or whatever. But he'll basically get into a fight with some Turians and then die in the process. You know, he heard in an elevator sequence. Um, and what I did here was I just pointed a gun in his face. No, and despite the fact that there's two options to make him live, which is Paragon and the Renegade, no matter what you do, he'll apparently remember the fact that you, he, he thinks that you just pointed a gun in his face every single time, which is kind of weird, but, you know. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? It was worth Show though. me what you've got. It was so worth. Alright. Got some more grenade upgrades, the license here. Uh wow, Reaper one. Jeez, the, the guy's Reaper version one. Best place on this war. Oh, there we go. We got another that I didn't get that keeper apparently. Oh. Alright, how much more is there here? Alleyway. Uh fuck. Okay, and now we can go talk to Dr. Michelle. Is it possible for me to open up? Because, like, there's a the constantly, like, okay, we're trying to we're trying to wrap up things on the Citadel, because I'm not sure if I'll be able to come back here. Yeah, fuck that. Um, maybe it's down here or something? Maybe he's doing something here. Like, I'm, I'm looking on the map for that, and I, I'm thinking I may have to uh, look at my good old friend the internet for this stuff, but... Hoping I don't need to. I mean, we still have shit to do, so it's fine. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? The masked man? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. Uh... What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. Perhaps Captain Anderson will have some knowledge about this man. We'll see what the Captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? Let me take a look at what uh, you I see the discount that she... Ah, oh, medical stimulant. I mean, literally, uh, not worth it for me at this point, but we have like a shit ton of money, so I guess it's all good. Baines? Is that you? Oh man, I can't wait to meet that guy so we, we can just meme all day. Alright, what do we what do we still have here? Ward's access corridor. Okay, well let's you know what? Let's let's um let's for science. Is there like a ward's access uh Maybe right here? Where does this take me to? Where does this take me to? To the Presidium. Uh, maybe it's down here? Like, like it, it's not here, right? Because, like, I, I don't know why... Ward's Access Corridor. Alright, let's, let's have a look here. No? Not that simple, is it? Alright, let's do some Google food. Okay, I think it's this way. I'm not I I'm not entirely sure, but I mean we'll just keep doing stuff until we see it on our map somewhere, because that's usually how things go. I mean, uh, mind you, this isn't supposed to be a hundred percent run, but I'm just doing as much as like possible kind of thing. Like as much as it's reasonable, that's all. best music so you've spent your entire adult life just studying old prothean junk our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations i would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions it's good for you a nice explosion every now and then keeps the mind sharp <laughs> that's excellent all right Oh, uh, this this might be it actually. Oh, and there's another keeper there. How many more keepers do we have? 
Uh, financial district. Oh, two more. Two more left. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? I'm just looking. Ah, there's a the thing. It's good. Busy though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. I guess not, but you could still use a few more men. That's why we brought you here. Sure, but there's still way more complaints than the officers can handle. That's just life near the wards, kid. You'll get used to it. Kiss me, Garrus, looking motherfucker. Our quarry has employed a hidden relay to redirect their signal. I shall trace the new signal. What do you say we head down to Cora's den after shift? Sounds good. Some of the others are going for a no- So he's behind seven proxies. Well, I mean, I don't know where the next one is. Where does it say? Presidium. All right, financial district. Seems like we have a lot of ele elevator story to catch up on. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Ass Effect. Alright, we'll just uh, kind of check out what's up here then. There's two more keepers we haven't found, and there's one... There's Avina, what the fuck? Why, wait, why is it telling me about her? Oh, right, there's a keeper here that won't... Please do not disturb the keeper. Oh, right. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the Spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. So apparently, apparently I've already scanned that one. I just kind of just looked up some Google shit. Uh, might, there might be one in the Citadel Tower, though. I don't know why it says it's a point of interest for her, for her basically, which is kind of weird. I guess we'll go to the bank, then. Hmm. I like how they're... Oh. Fucking... You know, you know, it's actually, like, fucking Liara's been, like, a non-stop -sor non source of entertainment for this entire run, because there was, like, um... When when Saren attacked us, like literally a couple seconds before, like Saren is like throwing like fucking Mass Effect balls at us, she's like, "Area is clear." <laughs> fucking greetings, Earth Clan. I believe congratulations are in order, Commander Shepard. You were the first human to join the Spectres. Yes, it's no big deal. Don't underestimate this opportunity, Commander. You have a chance to do great things for the Earth Clan. Perform well, and your species may soon be asked to join the Council. There is no greater honor in the galaxy. A word of warning, however. The eyes of the entire galaxy are on you now. Some of them are hoping you will fail. Be careful, Commander. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, here's a signal source. This appears to be another relay. I believe the receiver for the new signal is located somewhere on the Presidium. Okay. Well, there's another thing over down there. Oh, yeah, just, like, there's just tons of Avena things. Consort. Yeah, I'll go over this way. Let's talk to the jellyfish. Commander, show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. 
You will not be disappointed. Right, let's use some upgrades. Just trying to see if there's anything new here. And this looks like no, and every time I want to look at a new inventory, I gotta talk to him Commander, again. Commander, show me your items. Oh, this. Weapon upgrade, connect stabilizer, shield interface. Uh, I mean, that might be okay. Ah, yeah, fuck it. Not dealing with it. Alright, we got that keeper. Oh, wait, wait, it's in the back of his store. Okay, sorry, my bad. I do want to spend a bit of time seeing if I have all the keepers, though. I mean, there's this one we know. I believe we have found the signal's endpoint. It should be possible to identify the account to which credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Crap. I thought we were tracing credits, not hunting an AI. You could simply walk away. However, given organic prejudice against AIs, I would be naive to trust you to leave peacefully. Hence my alignment of core systems to enable a self-destruct sequence. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Can't we resolve this peacefully? I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Oh boy. What, seriously? I know it now. Okay. Really? That's it? Would we get, okay, so we just got a shit ton of money for it. Interesting. Uh, CSEC Academy. Alright, there's some stuff there to do. Guess we might as well go there. A lot of like in between places too that we should probably head to as well. We get this one, yeah, we got that one. All right, let's go to uh, go to where is it? CSEC. 
Uh, you know, I'll just leave it up here. So, uh, peace out. Take care.